Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. I want to talk to you real quickly about, gosh, why I can't be trusted in an outlet mall. Um, I took a trip uh, recently with uh, my sister. We were on our way to go to Orlando to go to the Brahmin outlet um, factory there, the, the Brahmin outlet store. Um, they have a wonderful outlet mall down there. And it's the only place that I know where you can do some Brahmin shopping. So, um, wow, I really loved the store. I loved one of the, the managers there before I even saw her face to face. I had been speaking with her on the phone and in Messenger. If you are a member of the Brahmin Addicted Buy, Sell, and Chat, um, she posts items there that are from the Orlando Brahmin Outlet Store and you can choose them and talk to her and she will mail them to you and you don't even have to go visit the store that's a wonderful thing and that's exactly what I did now prior to uh, after doing that though I thought wow they're having a sale for the entire weekend so we took off and we went down there and I have to tell you there's another story to that altogether um, long story short I guess really I have no sense of direction I've lived here forever and a day I know where Orlando is I'm down 95 for those of you who know driving and I miss I-4 because we are yakking so much and we end up down in Vero Beach I know that's an embarrassing story to tell for those of you who know the area I cannot believe I did it myself but the conversation was wonderful and it was intense we were talking about some serious issues some funny issues and there you have it we ended up way down in Vero and we had to you know cut across and come back up so anyway find ourselves at the outlet mall that outlet mall is absolutely incredible right we finally find the Brahmin store, which is quite difficult, by the way. <laughs> you have to kind of go down this corridor and then seek it out. And while we were there, I intended to just pick up a bag, but I ended up picking up a couple of bags, and we'll go through those. But um, the one that I actually ended up with um, that was based off the pictures that I had been seeing was this little beauty right here. Now, I'm going to tell you, the person that interested me, that got me interested in um, Brahmin was 49L Davis. She is a very sweet gal, and if you haven't seen her channel yet, I recommend that you go check her out. She's, she's pretty incredible. She always has these wonderful nails, and um, she is so funny. I actually did a nail haul, and I'm going to be doing that to kind of talk to you and share with you... Um, the things that I purchased is kind of start trying to do my nails. And I hope that that, um, that saying holds true, that imitation is the most sincere form of flattery because I am honestly going to take my, my, my hardest stab at um, doing nails and see if I can get them done. I know that she's a musician like I'm a musician and I'm just so inspired. I thought that I thought that I wouldn't ever be able to have cute looking nails, but she she's so successful with it. They look so wonderful on her. So I'm going to try it myself. But um, anyway, uh, she was she had a, a Brahmin bag that she was showing and she made a comment that really rung true for me. And I thought, oh, gosh, I really need to check them out. I am not a fan when it comes to this kind of material. I am not a fan of Dooney and Burke. I don't think that they do this kind of, or this kind of thing as well as some other brands. And when she showed one of her bags, she said, I like this so much better than I like Dooney and Burke. She's another Dooney and Burke kind of girl, like we're Dooney and Burke kind of girls and guys. And it was just so cute when she said, you know, I just feel like this is better. And I was looking at the camera going, yeah, I think it is too. I think it is too, Laura. So I was like, okay, um, I need to go check that out. And I have been wanting to see um, or, or to get my own Brahmin. I've seen them like in Dillard's and those kind of places, but I hadn't really pulled the trigger. So I went down there and I ended up getting this. And I, this is just such a beautiful bag. It has a little pocket sitting here in the back. And I'm going to pull the tag out. This this is actually called the Mini Arno. And I'm going to show that to you right there. The Mini Arno. And it just says genuine leather and it's in rows. So there's the number in case you're um, interested in it. And they were running like I, I, a sale. 
and um, I was absolutely pleased to pick it up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there is the Brahmin tag. Now let's do some quick measurements here. This is 10 by 8 by hmm, oh, almost about 5 by 5. And then this little tiny strap is only about four inches so you're definitely carrying it this way it's not going any further unless you have itty bitty teeny tiny arms but this is a wonderful strap that i want to show you you see this oh you can do so much with it it could be long it could be just regular there's many many options you could make this a crossbody or you could make it be just a regular handbag so i gotta tell you i'm just real excited about it And uh, this is what the inside looks like. That shows up really well with the light. So we have a zipper here. We have two pockets here, one and two. And then there's a couple of, um, a couple of, um, well, I thought it was a pulley, but it's not. It's actual leathery material. Now, some people might call those pen holders, but I call those um, tear your bag up holders, and I don't recommend that anyone ever use those. You guys know how I am. If you're gonna carry a pen in your purse, make it in, please, 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 make sure that you always put it in a pen case, and that way you don't have any accidents and issues, comments or concerns, right? So I got this, but that wasn't enough. While I was there, I saw this as well. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Ah. Oh. Oh, so lovely and I know it's not the same material but it definitely goes right doesn't that look I think it goes it goes really well so this is the Sally and I'll show that to you it's the Sally and there's the number right there in case you're interested and uh, look at the little on the zipper and anyway just kind of open it up I haven't even used this yet the stuffing is still in it and it's just wide open, little zipper back there. So you could, you know, you could just throw some makeup in here or you could um, throw stuff in here, maybe throw your money in there so you could do some shopping or whatever you would like to do with it. But I just thought that it was the perfect fit, right? Doesn't have to be an exact match. It just needs to go and this definitely goes. So there you have it. Here was um, a Brahmin purchase that I made at the outlet mall. And uh, I'll show you uh, the other one that I got in uh, just a little bit. I, I'm going to kind of break it up and we'll talk about the next Brahmin and then maybe even the next Brahmin. Who knows? So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. Give it a thumbs down. If you haven't already, take a moment to subscribe. Leave me some comments down below and I hope to talk to you again very soon. Thank you for spending some time with me. Good night.